the business of the business of child nutrition uh, is a mystery to a lot of people. But how does the money come? How does that work? You know, um, it, it, it all boils down to uh, participation in the program. So in the industry, it's called ADP, Average Daily Participation. The more meals you're serving and the more meals that kids are eating, uh, the more revenue you gain either through reimbursement or paid for meals. Uh, I've concentrated my work in uh, very poor urban environments where the free and reduced rate is much higher. So for me, it's, it's really a simple formula. The more meals that I can serve, the more revenue that I could generate, the more revenue I have, the better stuff I can buy, the better program I can build. It's, it, it's a real kind of simple formula. In the last two years, uh, when I took over this program, we were doing about $52 million, and it was a solid program. It wasn't, you know, um, um, you know, a program that was out of whack. But in two years, we've literally almost doubled that. We're almost $100 million a year in revenue, and that's almost $50 million of new revenue because we've added on programs like Breakfast in the Classroom, our Universal Free Supper Program, uh, our increased uh, participation in our lunch program. The, the fastest, well. easiest Great. way to increase your revenue is to start a breakfast in the classroom really program. Grab and go so this is the, the single program. most yeah. effective yeah. way uh, of making that happen. And I'll tell you what else happens. Right. You get an increase in participation at lunch if you have this increase of participation uh, at breakfast. Teachers are able to deliver their lesson plans to kids that are ready to learn because they're not hungry. They're not jacked up on sugar. So I think what happens often in schools is they focus on the revenue, but they're focusing uh, on the wrong source of revenue, right? So they're focusing on snack sales and a la carte sales when they should be focusing on the class A meal, the breakfast, the lunch, the supper. Uh, the reimbursement, one, is much better. The profitability is much better. Uh, and the end result of uh, getting denser nutrition into your kids is better. So uh, I think like school food service directors and business managers need to re-examine their business. In high poverty um, school districts, uh, the at-risk after-school supper program, one of the most brilliant things that ever came out of the USDA. I serve about 15,000 suppers a night to kids in this city. Kids that are staying after school uh, to participate in uh, band, in uh, math, in science, in language, in sports. Um, like we're trying, we're encouraging our kids to stay at school and learn more, um, but we need to support that.